last night we ended up going and we ended up hitting uh, iron ore down there in our mine last night I uh, decided to start recording because it sounds like that we got all sorts of freaking like nastiness going on out here uh, I was trying to like nerd craft and everything uh, last night to uh, get our tools and our weapons up a little higher oh you little sucker damn you got some freaking reach dude I don't appreciate any of that as we're bleeding out you freaking douche man come on watch we're gonna have to end up using like our only first aid kit or something that's food first aid oh no we got two of them we'll burn one I guess and we'll grab these bandages so we could at least stop the bleeding. It ain't gonna give us any more health back or nothing. But uh, at least the bleeding will end up stopping. As you can see, I got a bunch of cobblestone going on right now. Uh, to get around to end up uh, upgrading our horde base up a little bit more. Our shotgun is at 192 and it's a long barrel shotgun now. I didn't end up uh, going with the short barrel because I think the sawed-offs kind of suck. Uh, we got a bunch of hunting rifle stuff in there now, though, which, I mean, is a decent gun, but I really don't want to use it just because of the fact of that it takes forever to reload. You only get one shot, and then you're done type of thing. Uh, and then I got us... Uh, another iron pickaxe crafting and a fire axe crafting as well uh, so we uh, can end up upgrading those tools just a little bit farther in our workbench and let's see here what we got we could go over and uh, work on the horde base for a little bit actually you know what I don't quite want to do that quite yet I want to get out and about today and we'll combine these wrenches just to make a little better of a wrench also we'll go out today we'll get some car parts and everything maybe get an engine and stuff to get our cement mixer going because also one of the other things why i wanted to get that cement mixer going is that we got all this uh rotten flesh and everything and we don't we're not able to make it in the fertilizer and that's what I want to end up doing. I want to make uh, some fertilizer to get our garden all the way upgraded and stuff. So that we're getting the best use that we can. It would be immaculately awesome as if uh, I could end up finding some mushrooms. Mushrooms would be great. And we did have... Oh, I don't think I searched him, but oh well. That's fine. I don't know why it didn't give me the gore block, but I did have visitors last night as well come over here and stuff and mess with us for a little bit last night, but it wasn't nothing too major. I dealt with them and real quick in a hurry like and went to mining. Finding that iron ore down there was awesome. So to, uh, like I was saying, to find a engine battery any of that kind of stuff that we, you would need for your mini bike or to end up crafting your cement mixer if you can't find one is i'm pretty sure as long as they're fully put together cars like this one was like it was one step below perfect i think uh you still get something out of it uh which we'll need the headlights and stuff anyways too for crafting our mini bike handlebars and it don't look like that we really got anything out of that. Uh, we also need the spring. Oh, yeah, we did. We got an engine. Cool. And uh, we need springs as well. I don't know if we could craft those up in uh, the forge or not. The springs, if we're able to. Because I do believe that is a skill set that you have to kind of unlock as well as you're going up. I think it's just like in your tools crafting or something but we're gonna search these cars right here because we got one two three good cars so hopefully maybe we could get a couple more uh, engines 
and maybe a, a battery or two because we can always combine the batteries up as we get them and whatnot. That's it for those cars. That took a little bit of time. I also went back and I uh, emptied our inventory just a little bit because it was getting quite full. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to drop anything, but we got another engine and we got another battery out of that. So that is lovely right there, especially that really high battery. That is lovely. So now we got an engine for our cement mixer that we wanted and then we also got an engine to put in our mini bike whenever that we end up being able to craft it and I'm hoping that we find it here shortly uh, because it's getting pretty intense here and it would be great to end up finding that mini bike so we could get up out of here and not have to end up you know being confined to the city anymore and there's a couple cops over there I'm not even gonna worry about those guys and let's uh, we did find that shotgun messiah I don't know it was somewhere over here ish something I don't know it was close by it was around here so we're not gonna go there quite yet but I do want to walk down to let's say this corner of the city right here so we'll put that waypoint there and let's go on a little walk again today and see what we got and we'll do some looting also before the day is over and let's before we go out that way it would be smart if we just dropped off so we had a nice fresh inventory to start with i ended up taking apart this car right here uh, because at first I was gonna leave it there because if the zombies like beat on it too much I was hoping that it would like kind of explode and destroy a bunch of them if uh, things got heavy But kind of walking by there and looking at it. I Didn't think that was a good idea Just because of the fact that if it blows up with how close it was to the house uh, It might have just like made things real hairy real quick and i didn't want no part of that boy i tell you what the cops are out today huh they want some blood there's another one down there three of them all together i've seen today and i'm pretty sure i heard one last night as well but uh he kind of just like must have walked by and left us alone and whatnot what is all the way up here on this rubble <gasps> there's a bookshelf sweet Oh man, I hate it when I get these books too because it just looks like the freaking mini bike schematic somewhat and it gets me all excited at first. Same with the pistol book. The pistol book is exactly the same way, but that's okay. Well, we got a lot of stuff here to loot still. We, we still, we've been here for 11 days and we barely really even scratched the surface of everything. Uh, oh man, I didn't expect to get hurt falling from that height there. Good thing we didn't break a freaking leg. That would end up making me mad. I broke one yesterday when we went out mining and everything. Uh, cause we ended up falling off our stupid ladder. And that, I did not like that at all. Luckily we had enough splints already that we found and stuff. So it ended up healing up pretty quick. That shotgun messiah is around here somewhere though. I should have marked that stupid thing uh, Also, like you could end up finding batteries and engines out of the searching cars and stuff as well Getting the oil is really nice because of the fact that uh, You can make your repair kits out of it tree stump That's surprising that that one didn't have anything in it because normally tree stumps hold some pretty good stuff You could get a fully put together gun as well out of a tree stump there what's this little store is this this is another shotgun messiah this one's different because the one that we found yesterday that was beside a bank i don't see a bank here so that's cool we're gonna get into this let's do that we are gonna get into the shotgun messiah 
real fast in a hurry like and put down a hatch so that we have some protection and we could get through all of this that shamway got a little hairy for me last night especially with how close it was getting to be nighttime I didn't really like that too much because uh, I don't want to get pinned down anywhere uh, at night that isn't our house Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, well, we got our wrench. I scrapped the uh, stone axe. Oh, what? I ain't got no wood. There ain't no way. I just chopped down a bunch of trees. How do we only got that little bit of wood right there? That's kind of stupid. What's this? That's wood. Okay. We could take this apart. There, I just wanted to upgrade it a little bit, kind of like that, just to keep everybody out of our hair, at least for a little bit. Even though it's, like, starting to prove that these hatches are just, like, junk. It used to be pretty decent. I, You know, you could throw one down, and, you know, you could just sit there and whap away at zombies and everything as long as you wanted. And they wouldn't even barely hit the hatch or anything. It was a really good method for, like horde nights and stuff because i used to just make like a literally just like a tunnel or whatever and just sat there and beat them down all night oh we got chainsaw blades uh that i don't really care about because i doubt that we'll even be able to get a chainsaw or craft a chainsaw or anything of the sorts we could combine that mining helmet with the one that we got on right now which is kind of nice. It'll help with the protection of our head. We really don't need very many glass jars. Because after filling up all those glass jars that we did have. And what we're using and stuff right now. We got quite a bit. But as we start making up more of our food. And everything. We'll probably go through the water a little bit. Especially when we're making goldenrod teas and stuff. Because I am definitely wanting to make up a bunch of those. I did make some up. I only had one that I could make up. But one's better than none. And that will help our uh, wellness as well by drinking that. The teas, the yucca juice. That's why I really want to end up make, uh, getting some nice yucca. Because it takes kind of like four yucca fruit to one jar to make a glass of yucca juice so and the yucca juice helps a lot kind of with cooling down if you're hot and everything so like if you're in the desert and stuff yucca juice is nice to have if you're doing a lot of mining and stuff out in the open uh so enough of the jibber jabber and everything let's clean up this inventory just a little bit more here uh that's about as good as that we're gonna go like i said i'm gonna get rid of the jars i'm not keeping jars no more i dropped off like 130 of them at home already so and the chainsaw blades i'm just gonna scrap it because i don't really care it makes too much noise and we got enough crap going on right now same with the bones i'm gonna drop them because we don't really need them uh and there's like an abundance of them but let's go ahead and get this place looted hopefully we find something nice besides paper i'm with the webs i'm weaving i could take this crap from seeing to believing got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words i spit so sharp so freezing so cold the whole frostbite they feeling i could tear you apart or i could go heal them don't believe in fake don't believe in ceilings i just need a taste and my mind starts feeling I don't pace myself, I grind on no kneeling God lust for change, I just love the feeling no. All right, well, that's lovely right there. We found the AK-47 schematic. I would love to craft one of those. And then we found an iron helmet schematic, which I'll just read that for the experience. I do not think that we have uh, any AK parts right now. Which is okay. We can find them eventually. And hopefully finding that schematic. We do end up starting to uh, find the, the parts for that weapon. 
If not, just find it all the way put together itself. Some vitamins are great. I love that because that helps with our old wellness right there. So we'll take a couple of those as our wellness already goes up. Eat the food just to top off our food and uh, health again. Oh, we did find some water too. So let's go ahead and take a quick drinky drink because we're probably thirsty. Yes, we surely are. We'll take a couple drinks. How about that? And we find a toilet pistol? No. I think we should be able to find a toilet pistol in every shotgun messiah. It only makes sense, right? Right. And haha, <laughs> yes, we did. So we human turd and everything too. Ah, uh, that grain alcohol can go bye bye. Those glass jars could go bye bye. And I'm totally taking all that. That is great. That's a good pistol too. We should have a pretty nice pistol after combining all of our stuff. And it's nice that we are finding our uh, ammo and everything too for the pistol. One thing that I am mad about because since we ended up getting that AK-47 schematic, I totally was a dumbass and I scrapped our SMG schematic that we found like a couple days ago and that kind of did it upset me there a little bit because i love the smg and it would be a really nice uh gun to have in the wasteland right now because also it seems like that it's a lot easier to find nine millimeter ammo uh than anything else at least in my opinion i guess oh great and I didn't even think about this. We got quite a bit of crap on us right now. We'll drop the leather. We'll drop the cloth. Don't really need that stuff. I got abundance of it. It's not like we're going to really probably use it for anything. I'm not going to take the hoodie. I'm going to start getting real particular on the things that we are taking. Because it's not like we could sell anything. Uh, or nothing like that. So if we, if we can't craft the stuff or need it for like defense or food or anything like that i'm not even gonna worry about it so if i dump things off and you guys don't think i should dump it off uh well i'm sorry i just don't think that it really serves a purpose for us those painkillers i'm gonna dump because we got a boatload of them i don't even like using them unless we have to uh because it does it dehydrates you quite a bit real fast in a hurry and it looks like that we got everything out of here so let's go ahead and we'll keep making our way over well i don't know we got quite a bit of stuff how far are we let's go back in here let's not be stupid and just stand right out in the middle of everywhere where a dog can just walk up and bite us we're pretty much right there where we wanted to be our house is over that way so uh we can maybe take a long circle around kind of go back behind us that way and up and around to see what's over in that area and after we take care of lisa here get out of here lady we don't need none of that none of your sandwich i'll take your water though that that's lovely right there and i'll get rid of your little gore block as well i need to start taking care of those guys a little bit better because uh i kind of been slacking a little bit and i don't want my game to like freak out on me so we got a quick moment let's make sure we're gonna head the right way yep because our arrow is right here so we're pretty much right where we wanted to be anyways i'll go out along this road and circle back around another hotel so we got plenty of things to loot for food i don't think we're gonna have problems with food even though we ain't seeing no wildlife i'm surprised that we really ain't i mean I know there's a lot of commotion that's scaring them away and stuff, but that's the problem that you have also being confined to an area like this. 
is that the wildlife don't really stick around after you're in one area too long. Look at that. Two cops side by side. It's just saying to come down there and just fuck with me, man. And I'm not because there's a dog there. I don't even want to deal with any of that crap. I love to go a whole episode and not have to deal with a cop or a dog. It would be absolutely fantastic, really. But I have a feeling walking around like this, we are going to run into a dog here eventually. I bet ya. And it's kind of weird, too. Like I said in one of my episodes, we have not ran into any more feral whites. The well, only time that we ran into the feral whites was like on our third day here in the city or something when I died twice because there was all kinds of fuckery going on. With a, uh, like three, four feral whites, we had freaking up tink, like, you know, dozen cops that it seemed like. It was just like we got bombarded. We just woke up one morning and it just said, fuck your face, man. Like, it was not a good day. Dumb mistakes were made because I was panicking and that was definitely not the right thing to do at all. Obviously. And I am actually kind of curious about how much we did die in this series so far because yeah I feel like that we definitely had our fair share of dying that's for sure I really want to go in that cracker book but at the same time I don't because I just don't want to ruin it oh we already went that was a cracker book that we went into already okay that works I like that we have like two of each kind of store in this uh, city here that is kind of nice about with the random gen and everything that we ended up ha generating that many stores because after your loot stage gets up there it will definitely help out with you know finding a bunch of our stuff I just really wish that we'd find our uh, mini bike schematic already because it it is definitely wondering on my mind if we are gonna find it or not because usually I've already done found it by now to be honest because I mean like heck I've even I found that thing on day one before it was crazy I just searched like a pile of trash or something I think it was and right there it was right in front of my face it was lovely though and so now that we're home Let's get this crap dropped off. And make sure that we take our wood back. I can't believe that I freaking end up dropping that off. And let's go ahead. We're going to head out. Looks like coast is clear. We'll check our map out here. Well, kind of clear, I guess. Check our map again. We're getting quite a bit of the city, you know, pretty good and opened up nice large city i like the hub city just because of that there's just so much stuff around here that you can end up doing and uh, it just takes a lot of time to do it all because of all the shenanigans around here but let's go ahead we're gonna go in some of these buildings loot them up pass the rest of the day by and hopefully not have any problems Cause these little rundown buildings they do they hold good stuff you just gotta find it and have the right tools to get into it but now that we got all the right tools we should be able to beat into every safe everything else and actually since we got our wood back i would feel a lot more comfortable to have some hatches in our inventory again since we scrapped them uh over in the shotgun messiah for some room sounds like that we got some people coming up already we're drawing some attention and stuff which is not too good in my part i don't like drawing attention so there's a hatch and 
I uh, I hate having to keep switching back and forth between crap, but it's whatever. I wish that we had like maybe a little bit more room on our toolbar. No tweak. Nut shot. Oh, you couldn't handle that nut shot, bud. That sucks. Oh, we got a uh, <laughs> nut shot and you gave me some wood. <laughs> That's lovely. Looks like we're going to have to end up crafting some wood frames also because I didn't see a way on getting up here or anything. So it looks like that we're just going to have to like probably nerd pull our way up. We'll get quite a bit of frames going, I guess. It don't hurt. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that growing up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'ma make mine, so you better go take it. Always, they need a new replacement. Decentralized, can't contain it. We're changing lives, yeah, upgrading. Call it to a side of the older generation. Work keeps you up at night, yeah. Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Okay, well, we are headed back home because we are definitely full. Uh, I could probably elude it a little bit more and everything, but I don't want to get stuck out and about, like I said, because it's always my fear getting stuck somewhere and then having run running zombies where we like have no defenses at and everything because that'd be a good way to end up dying, especially with these dogs and stuff around like they are but let's go ahead we'll check the old inventory see what we got here we got another hunting rifle schematic we got leather chest armor which is pretty cool we might upgrade to that i don't know what kind of armor that we got on right now just padded so yeah we'll probably make some leather chest armor uh some more leather chest armor and i love that we found some mushroom spores because now I'm pretty sure we do have all the ingredients for our vegetable stew, which is lovely. Enforcer magazine, that's for the 44 Magnum. Now we could crap that. Uh, we don't have no parts or anything, I don't think, for it besides, like, the grip right there. And then we had the iron leg armor schematic right there. Now we can craft iron armor. Uh, leg armor as well, which is great too. I'll probably end up doing a little bit of that as well And you know, it's just all other little odds and ends stuff uh, Like I said the mushrooms are great Because now I do believe oh boy, we're gonna We're gonna need some more room there because I got everything All planted for these so oh wait, I don't think I need dirt honestly for these let's just let's put them right here yeah that looks weird not possible to place here possible to place there i don't know let's see let's experiment let's see how much we get out of just letting these mushrooms grow right here but uh like always if you guys like what you end up seeing go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything else and uh i'll see you next time 420 survivor out peace